All right. Everyone knows when my keys are going to hit my hand, right? Okay. <laughs> so, I drop it. But, so we have to mimic that in our hand. So, so even in legato, well, so there's, there's a little bit of acceleration. And whether you think of releasing and letting gravity do its work, or whether you subdivide, one E and then go. Okay? But it has to have that, that clarity going into the ictus for the downbeat especially. Okay. okay, so if you can do that even in legato, yeah, okay, and then you follow through after that, okay, right. So legato can still have an ictus. Okay. I mean, sometimes it doesn't, but but at the downbeat, it would be helpful. Okay. okay, and then your staccato is too high. Your legato looks good, but then for some reason, you want to do staccato up here. Do okay. staccato in the same place, and that's what's okay. causing your elbow and your wrist to do funny things. Okay. Okay, so, and then it also prevents you from being able to accelerate, so... Just use the whole, this whole vertical space with gravity, and then just try it again. Okay. Sometimes you, I don't know, you feel like you can't, so you're bending your wrist, but your elbow like compensates more than it needs to on staccato. It's just, I can do, I can do this without moving my elbow at all, okay? But I'll move it a little bit, but just okay. up and down. Don't, I guess, I guess so. Yeah, it's the wrong joint. You're moving your shoulder because that, your shoulder is what control. Yeah. So let, leave your shoulder out of it, okay? So just from here on down. Okay. okay. Yeah. Just try the beginning, the first four measures. Yeah.